Hey everyone, Shil Serbita here. Today I got this really cute kawaii hot chocolate design for you today. I'm seriously in love with it. So this is hot hot, oh we got it. This was the main polish that inspired this manicure because of the fact that it reminisces hot chocolate, especially the little white squares being marshmallows. I gotta say the formulation is fantastic. It was two coats, depending on how long your nails are, that may require three, but overall I'm literally in love with this. Since I'm all about matching my polishes together, I chose Vacay Dreams by China Glaze. This was from their spring collection of 2021. However, I felt like this fit perfectly with Hot Hot Oh We Got It, especially those little pink squares that are in that polish. I felt like this is a nice, delicate pink. It just fit really well. The fact that it's also a cream, I love incorporating creams in my manicures to have different finishes. So this was definitely a winner for me. Lastly, it was Stop That Train by China Glaze. This is in fiery orangish red shimmer polish, which I felt matched perfectly with the Dollish polish because that polish had a slight orangey red shimmer. I felt like this polish would be perfect for it and I'm so glad I have it in my collection. The staple plate I'll be using today is from Maniology. It is the M038 plate, and this is the Kawaii Christmas Warm and Fuzzy. I love all of the images on here. I'm a sucker for anything Kawaii. With all of my outlining today is gonna to be with my Straight Up Black by Maniology. This is my tried and true. I'm gonna first go after these little hot cocoa mugs of different sizes and shapes. And I mean, look how adorable they are. Then I'm gonna go in with Bam White Caramel, and I'm also going to use the China Glaze Polishes, Stop That Train, and also Vacay Dreams to help fill in this manicure. I first go in with Bam White, I color in all of my little marshmallows. Afterward, I kind of pick and choose who I want to have caramel, and then from there I will go in with Stop That Train, and I try to like offset, you know, try to spread them out, but I'm also not filling in all of the images because I kind of go back and forth and trying to figure out which ones I can can fit on my finger or how many I can fit on a somewhat full-size image. I want to, you know, give it a little bit of fair share. I'll even go in with some white as you can see and then try to mix up the colors. After I'm done filling in everything, I then set it to the side to dry. I then apply my nail tape by Cuticula, this does contain latex, to protect around the outer skin of my nail, just to prevent, you know, the stamp sticking. And then I'm gonna let that dry, and then from there I will place a sticky base coat down on my nail because of the fact that the reverse stamping is not gonna stick to my nail. So I need to have some tack. I wait about a minute for everything, and then I will place my stamp down onto my nail. And as you can see, when I place the stamped down only the images that I filled in will show up and I don't even bother with the ones on the side I don't know why I filled in the marshmallows honestly Now onto my ring finger. I'm gonna go after this cute little cup of marshmallows. I mean, he looks so stinking cute. I'm gonna go in with Bam White, Caramel, and then Vacay Dreams, only because this is gonna be stamped on top of Stop That Train, so I do wanna have some color distinguished from that. I do the same thing all over again, wait for it to dry, put a sticky base coat down, and then from there I can then move on to my Smudge Free Top Coat, which I highly advise using this. This is a water-based top coat, so it prevents the smearing, especially the fact that I use used the black and I used some red tones as well. So I just kind of first go in with that and I give it about a few minutes before I put my regular top coat down. Next, I go in with my Super Chic Lacquer Quick Drying Top Coat. Now, I highly suggest that you use a quick drying top coat or at least a top coat that you truly love before putting down a matte top coat, only to smooth everything out. Otherwise, you're gonna get lumps and bumps and it's not really cute. So especially with reverse decaling or reverse stamping, so it just makes it look so much more cleaner looking. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with my Etsy Matte About You. This is my favorite matte top coat. I gotta say, this makes your nails look very, very matte. I love how quick it dries as well. It just looks so good, especially this manicure. I'm obsessed with this matte look on here. Not to mention, it makes taking photos so much easier. 
everything that I used in today's video, I will link down below. Did you like this mini? Are you gonna recreate it? If you watched the full video, leave me a drink emoji in the comments, whatever that is to you during this holiday season, because I don't think there's a marshmallow emoji out there. I love seeing your responses. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. I have some playlists you can check out at the end of the video. Till then, take care and stay chilly.